What's up everybody from the Winitachi here, you know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in to another Pokemon Go video. And we're going to be letting you know and filling you in on the information on every single way on how to get Pokemon Go Candy and Stardust. To evolve and strengthen Pokemon in Pokemon Go, you need Stardust can and Candy. This guide will help you give you tips on some of the best ways to get the candy and start us in game. One of the main aspects of Pokemon Go is to strengthen your Pokemon win gym battles and basically bragging rights, son. So you will always get candy and start us when you capture a wild Pokemon. While candy is necessary to evolve a Pokemon, you need both candy and Stardust in order to power up a Pokemon. Stardust is universal and can be used on any Pokemon, but candy is specific to each given Pokemon, so making it more difficult to come by. First and foremost, you should try to capture as many Pokemon as possible. You are generally rewarded with three candies for each Pokemon you capture, and the candies are Pokemon specific. So let's say I capture a Charmander, and it's going to give me three candies for that given Charmander. And I'll also go ahead and show you how many candies you currently have for that Pokemon on the Pokemon page itself. In addition, you can trade in any low CP Pokemon to the Professor to obtain even more candy, which is one candy per Pokemon transferred. Go ahead and click on that and transfer the Pokemon to the Professor. You'll be given one candy from the Professor. Once you have a few high CP Pokemon, you can use a Lucky Egg for XP bonus, then use candy to evolve them as many times as you can. That's for another video, but I just thought I would throw that in there for now. It's a good idea to keep track of how much candy you have and how much it will take to evolve Pokemon multiple times. Lower CP Pokemon should only be evolved once. If you waste candy for a second evolution, the resulting Pokemon will be fairly low in CP and it will be pretty much pointless to evolve that Pokemon. So, how to get Pokemon candies. One way is capturing a Pokemon. You'll be given three for every capture. And the other way is from transferring Pokemon. You'll be given one for every transfer. How to get Stardust. You get 100 Stardust for capturing every single Pokemon. And when you hatch an egg, you also get Stardust from there. But it is randomized and it is way over the thousands. And it's a great way to earn Stardust. If you want to go ahead and check out the Stardust and Candies that you currently have, you can go ahead and go to your Pokemon list. Go ahead and click on one of your Pokemon. It'll show you how many candies you have for that specific Pokemon and how much Stardust you have total. Another way to get Stardust is to hold gyms. Now, I'm going to go to my shop, and the reason being is I'm going to have a shield that has the number 0 in the top right. I'm going to click on that, and it says you need to assign a Pokemon to a gym to be eligible for a Defender bonus. The Defender bonus gives you 100 Stardust and 10 Pokecoins per Pokemon within a gym, up to 10 times. So that would be 10,000 Stardust and 100 Pokecoins max from uh, being the 10 out of 10 Defender bonus. So how to get Stardust is simply you can get it from holding gyms. 10 out of 10 will give you 10,000 Stardust. Uh, you can get it from hatching eggs and you can get it from capturing Pokemon which is 100 Stardust per Pokemon. As for the candies, transfer your Pokemon. You get one to the Professor and you get three for every capture and you also get them from the eggs as well. And the regs is F and from the eggs it's also randomized from a small number but it could be very large in some circumstances. Thank you very much for tuning in. Peace out everybody.